Howdy to viewers, TJ Pyramid here. Uh, this is my video entry for my buddy Sammy Falagar. Uh, week 3 contest entry and sweet as can be, I won the second week contest. Very, very cool to me because the only other contest I entered in my entire life, well I've entered many contests, but the uh, only other time I've won I was the only one that entered the contest, so I really couldn't lose that. So this is just completely badass to me that I actually won a contest, um, or won something. Fabulous. Um, so this is my video for uh, the his third week contest. Um, two questions and a bonus question, uh, which I was looking forward to. So... Uh, here we go. Let's see what we got here. I always write these down. So, uh, let's see. The first question are uh, my picks for the top three in no particular order. Uh, shocking endings or twists in films that uh, caught me off guard. I didn't see coming or whatever it may be. Um, a couple of these p other people might pick, but uh, these are my picks. I looked around and these are just the three that really kind of stood out to me. Um, first, I'm gonna go with uh, this one here. Uh, when I saw this in theaters, I had no clue. And it is it is one of those films that if somebody watches it for the very first time, if they guess the ending, it ain't their first time watching it because there are absolutely no clues at all that reveal what this ending is gonna be. Um, now I'm not gonna try to spoil any of these movies here in case there's people out there who haven't seen them, but uh, my first pick is Saul. I never saw this ending coming. When it hit, when that saw music comes on, and what happens happens, oh man, my jaw dropped to the movie theater floor and popcorn fell out. Absolutely amazing ending in this film. Probably in my top ten endings of all time, not just for shock or twist, but just for endings in general. Just brilliant. Uh, second up, another movie that some people may pick. Um, once again, I won't give away the uh, ending, but that is uh, The Usual Suspects. Fantastic cast in this. Uh, the whole film that basically leads up to what happens at the end is, once again, mind-blowing. I absolutely love the way this movie plays out and when it finally wraps up what happens at the end it's just you immediately go back and start thinking of all the different things you heard and saw throughout this film and just just amazing and uh, now last up this probably will be one that a lot of people won't pick but uh... it is my favorite james bond film uh... and that is on her majesty's Secret Service with uh, the fantastic George Lazenby. I wish he would have got more another go around as Bond because uh, he was a really good Bond and uh, there's stuff that happens in this Bond film that happens in no other Bond film uh, for one, hello he gets married uh, I once again won't give away what happens towards the end of this film but uh, it was uh, sad shocking yeah. If you've never seen this, check out On Her Majesty's Secret Service. I absolutely love George Lazenby as Bond, and I love the action in this film. You got Telly Savalas as uh, Blofeld. Uh, fantastic Bond film. My favorite of all the Bond films, actually, which I already said. So, but, uh, great ending. Great ending. Well, not a great ending for what happens, but just a great ending in general. Um, now, second question here. If I could go back in time to whatever age and relive that age and go to the time forward, um, knowing what's going to happen, uh, knowing that I'm going to meet my lovely wife and all that, but uh, not being able to do things like, I'm going to guess the lottery or things like that, uh, what age would I pick? Um, I don't really know that I... I don't really know how old I would be or what year it would be because I... Didn't do the math. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of pick like a time. Uh, like 
God, I wish I could remember how old I would I was. I'm gonna say like uh, 12, 13, 14, somewhere around there. I'm not actually sh positive, but uh, just like uh, when my family, like me, uh, my mom, my dad, my brother, were all you know everybody was healthy and everybody was communicating and seeing each other and just just that this that time period where you didn't have to wake up and have somebody be sick or things like that because everybody was just healthy and just fun times where like I'd get out of school and me and my mom would go from where we live where I live now actually we lived about 20 25 minutes away from the city I live in of Salem and uh, after school we would come into Salem here we'd see my brother we'd pick him up and we'd go out to like a buffet or something like that or just go around and go shopping and dad would get off work and we'd all get together and you know just just have a fun time it was just really good times um, so probably around that age like early teens uh, 12 to 14 or so somewhere in that area just because it was just there was so much less stress and stuff that is going on right now that I wish I didn't have to deal with or face that is happening now that uh just seems so much easier I don't know if that made sense but uh that's what it is and now the uh, bonus question here. Uh, the good old bonus question there, Sammy. Love them. Uh, you're trapped in a house, and uh, you can't get out, and there's a guy there forcing you to kill yourself. Do you attempt to drown yourself, death by drowning, drink bleach or some other type of chemical, use a knife, slit your wrist, slit your throat, whatever, stab yourself in the temple, or use a gun? <clears throat> the easiest and quickest way I would think would be to use a gun but here's my twist once the guy in the house hands me the gun to shoot myself I point at him and blow his brains out and then I take his keys unlock the door and skip la 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 down the road home free can I do that? can I do that? I have a gun. I'm gonna do it. So there we go. Uh, a gun. And if there's some weird way to where like it's a mechanical arm that puts it up to my head and pulls the trigger or something, then I, I'll pick the gun for that just because it's the quickest and easiest, you know, way to whew, off yourself. Um, assuming you do it right. Uh, you know. So there we go. There's my entry for uh, my buddy Sammy, a.k.a. Falagar, his uh, third and final of his uh, weekly or two-weekly, whatever it may be, contests. Um, thank you again, my friend. Uh, so glad that I won the second contest. That just it is just amazing. I was high-fiving the wife, and even my little dog was jumping around on the bed. So it was super badass, man. Um love it um, looking forward to any and all other contests you do and uh, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded and uh, I'll let you know in the comment that uh, I got it uploaded and um, yeah so there we go I don't know what else to say uh, let's see how should I end this video how do you do it? Much love and respect, my friend. We're always here for you, Sammy. Cheers.